it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today is going to be a fun DIY video because you may have seen these before but I have enjoyed creating these and my children have enjoyed creating these gorgeous DIY butterflies. Now I am going to use some of this glitter paper today. This one happens to be from scrapbook.com. I would advise that you use some origami-ish uh, weight paper because we're going to be doing some folding. Now I like the idea of having uh, two different colors to my butterfly, the upper and lower part. So I've chosen the pink and the purple glitter paper and then there's the blues. So a bl darker blue and a lighter blue. Now this glitter paper is like completely smooth glitter paper and I absolutely love that. I love that there's going to be no shedding and yet I have all of the sparkle and the shimmer from the glitter but uh, no actual glitter involved. So I am going to cut this down. What you need is two strips. I am choosing to make these two and an eighth wide, but obviously you'll see in this that the measurements can be very, very forgiving. So at the moment, these pieces here are two and an eighth by four and a half inches long. And I am going along and scoring on the back of this one. So I'm doing this one vertical and I am scoring every eighth of an inch. Now you actually don't have to score the back. If you're just com comfortable folding, then go for gold. And you'll see how this project comes along. This is actually extremely simple. Then I'm going to take the other piece of glitter cardstock and I'm going to go the other way. So this one is kind of uh, horizontal. And I am going to uh, score that again every eighth of an inch. This just makes life a little bit easier. Now with whatever color you want to be the top of your butterfly, fold it in half directly in half. So I try and make sure that the sides match up the best you can, but honestly, you can adjust everything in this life and that's more my style of card making. I make sure I've got a nice, beautiful crease there. Even though I have scored down the back of this, I just did very light scores. So I'm making sure that it is a nice uh, crease down the center. And then from here, this is what I like to do. And I know there are several versions, but you are meant to fold in each corner just into the center. Now I know many people leave these on and they just continue folding. Personally, I like to cut them off. I think less bulk works well for me. Uh, so I cut these off, but you can definitely just leave them on and fold them into the folds as well. And then all you do from here is do a zigzag back and forth fold like you've done many, many times. And it looks kind of funny how I'm choosing to do it just because of I had already scored the back. But really, you just need to make sure that you are folding back and forward like an accordion fold, back, forward, back, forward until you are all done. Now, again, I am just trying to make sure that all of my folds are kind of nice and sharp so I'm using my bone folder to go back and make sure that these are all relatively crisp but I just go back and forward back and forward and then you can see that you end up with that whole piece done and I have sort of eight folds four on each side of that center fold again this is just such a forgiving project that once you try this once I think you'll get the hang of it and it's not as complicated as even what it looks on screen it's super super simple so I have an accordion fold, back forward, back forward, and then I have my top of my butterfly done. So all you need to do at this point is kind of squish it all together and then fold it in half and this is going to become the top of our butterfly. So I crease that there. Put that aside. Now this is the other piece that has the uh, one eighth of an inch creases. And again, just accordion fold all the way down this. If you find that you did a score a little bit too deep, then I just ended up cutting that little bit off. And again, this part here, there's no set amount of folds that you need to do. As with the top part of the butterfly, there's no set amount of folds that you need to create. Uh, I just kind of kept going until I think I had enough. And then I thought I had enough I didn't need anymore. So I just cut it off. It felt like it was thick enough already and cut it off and I had plenty. Again, fold this one in half so that you can roughly find the center. Now, you can put anything you want around the middle, but I thought a little bit of gold string would look really nice. Just set off the butterfly, finish it off. So I'm taking a little bit of gold thread, and then I am going to um, wrap this around the center of the butterfly. This is going to hold it all together. If you'd like to, you could add a little bit of glue or double-sided tape in the mix here to keep it uh, super, super strong. But I think at this point, um, my thread is going to hold it in place beautifully. 
So you can see how the wings are going to kind of pop out. So I find the center of each piece and then I just start wrapping my thread around. I like to put quite a lot of thread because I like the gold part to be noticed. But if you just want enough to just hold it, you can... Um, pop a little bit around and hold it you can also put around another piece of glitter paper you could put around some fabric if you wanted the butterfly to have antennae then you could add some pipe cleaners or something like that around the center i mean your options are absolutely endless with this one i'm going to make a very quick and simple handmade card to go along with this one today but i love these butterflies my children love creating this with me so perhaps if you have children or grandchildren or you volunteer at a school or a kindergarten or something like that, then this could be one of those activities that would be fun to do even on a rainy day or if you have some time inside. So as I said, mine today, my card today is going to be very handmade because I had a picture of what I wanted in my head and I didn't really have anything that could help create it. So we're going to go with very hand drawn. Now here is the kind of finished butterfly for now and you can kind of move it around and adjust it. But I like the two tone, of course, you can make it just the same color. That would be fine too. But once you see it all finished, it really isn't that hard at all. So I am going to start off with a card front here. I have a gold Posca pen just because this is a little bit thicker than the other gold uni ball pens that I have. And I'm going to place my butterfly kind of where I want it and I just want some sort of swirly detail coming out the back. Now I know that this is uh, definitely not my favorite thing to sort of do hand drawn bits and pieces but I think this ends up looking okay. So I do some little dotted swirls and little dots in here, there, and everywhere. I do some solid ones. I do them with a twirl at the end. I mean, it really, I just had fun <laughs> until I thought there was a nice amount coming out the tail. And then I was also going to add on a little antennae out the front. As I said, if you wanted to, you could add in some uh, wire around the butterfly. You could add in some pipe cleaners around the butterfly. I mean, lots of things that you could add on if you wanted to have antennae that were more 3D than drawn on. But I am just going to add some really quickly with the pen. As I said, today's card is very hand-drawn, handmade, and that's the way I like it. I don't mind that not one, but it's nice to try lots of different things on my channel. It's nice to try and um, use things that we have in our stash already that we can create different things from. So I hope that if you are one of those people that you will consider subscribing to me if you haven't already, hit that little notification bell so you will... Uh, get a notification when I release a new video and at the moment I'm releasing three new videos a week so on a Tuesday a Thursday and a Saturday in New Zealand time of course that's where I am I am in the South Island of New Zealand we are just about heading into summer here and I'm so excited to finally have a bit more warmth and a bit more heat because we had a very very wet winter and a bit of snow this winter too so um, I'm grateful that the sun is coming out if the days are longer we have a bit more light um, but I know that that is obviously not the case for many at the moment you are heading into winter so I hope that everybody is staying nice and warm. Now, at this point, I'm going to finish off the card and I'm going to take some of the pink glitter cardstock that I had used uh, in the bottom of the butterfly just to create a little bit of border. Now, I think this is important to bring in some of those colors somewhere else. And since I didn't have an ink pad or anything that was going to be similar, I thought I may as well use the same paper. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of double-sided tape onto the back here. Now I have actually put it on the back of my glitter piece as well as my card front piece and then I'm just going to layer everything up. This is the scrapbook.com double sided adhesive. It is very, very strong and so I know that once it's on here it is not going to go anywhere. I like that little piece of pink layering. I think that really brings the butterfly and kind of uh, keeps the card nice and cohesive. Then I add my four little tabs so that I can line this up and get this perfectly even onto my four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Of course, I still need a little sentiment. I think this card is very plain and simple, but it is gorgeous. We're going to do a few more things from here to keep going. I add a little bit of matte medium. This is the Ranger Multimedium and the matte finish. And I pop it into these little glue bottles. 
it's a really really easy process and I have a video on my channel for the tricks and hints if you would like to do it mess free and stress free uh, so just search on YouTube how to fill a glue bottle and it will probably be the first one to come up I debated putting a couple of little enamel dots up there on the antennae I didn't like that at all so I popped them back on and I am going to add a couple of little dots just coming out of the tail end though the trail of where the butterfly has been so to speak then, as I said, I just need a little gorgeous sentiment. So I have this one from Paper Rose here, and I'm going to pop this down that bottom right-hand corner. I just think that is the perfect little place to pop this one. Stamping it, I probably should have done this before I added layers, but there's no foam tape under here, so I thought it would be absolutely fine. And so I risked it just using an acrylic block. I'm going to use a couple of the sentiments from here, and I'm just going to stick with some plain black ink. This is the Versafine Onyx Black Ink, which is going to stamp beautiful, crisp and clear and this says thank you so very much I think this is a gorgeous card that we created today thank you so much for joining me I hope that you have enjoyed this one let me know in the comment section down below if you have created these butterflies before because they are not brand new they've been around but I thought I would share them here on my channel too and I will also have a link to my buy me a coffee in case you would like to support my channel and the free videos that I produce thank you so much for joining me I appreciate it so very much and I'll see you on the next one.